cruel before. Who can say, I've never been cruel to anybody. I've never been cruel to even animals. I've never been cruel to younger people. We've been cruel. But now, he says, we relieve the oppressed. We go the opposite direction. You know, some of you when were young, or maybe even as uh, some of us were old, you see somebody running, and then he stumbles and falls. And maybe he breaks his bone. Maybe the first thing some people is to laugh. Uh, look at him. Uh, we said so. He's uh, running too much. He's running too fast. Look at what happened to him now. Maybe we gossip and we talk about other people when they have some misfortune in their lives. But now we turn around. We say we're willing to have a new life new life will come to you and then in verse 18 he says come now and let us reason together says the lord who am i who are you who are we that the almighty god the creator of the heavens and the earth will come us will call us and say come now let's talk together he didn't just stay on the judgment seat and he says let him die let him perish he says no he invites everyone look at the privilege the lord is giving you and giving me and giving all of us look at that prodigal son look at that prodigal daughter he's gone to the far country he's wasted all his resources and he said of the almighty father in heaven saying good for him good for her he thought he was wise he thought he wanted to be independent he says no prodigal son prodigal daughter come let us reason together is it better for you now in that path of independence is it okay for you now as everything is wasted your brain wasted your energy wasted your life wasted drunkenness has totally destroyed you you thought you are being an independent guy an independent girl look at this now god is saying i don't want you to perish i should suffer i pity you come and come now god is so kind i said god is so good and god is good to you i said god is good to me that's why he says, come now. Don't waste time. The devil is running faster than you can see him. And he wants to come and destroy your life there before he comes and destroys you completely. Come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. I thought somebody would say amen to that. He says, when he says, come now, don't say, I cannot come. I'm too dirty. I'm too vile. I'm too bad. How can I come? If I come, God will see that I am so dirty and my sins are so deep. He says, even though your sins be as scarlet, he will so wash you and cleanse you, you will be as white as snow. Yeah. That's good, but you can say better, amen. Yeah. It says, though they are red like crimson, though they are black like shackle, it says, they shall be as wool. And that's why it says, it says, come now and let us reason together. If I come, what will he do? Will he club my head and kill me and said, you should not live again, you are too bad? He says, no, he will forgive your sin. He will cleanse your sin. He will purge your sin. Christ died for you already on the cross of Calvary. And the goodness of the Lord and the favor of the Lord will be upon your life tonight in Jesus' name. Look at verse 19. Verse 19, it says, if he be willing, look at that. He said, on my side, on the side of God, I'm willing to forgive. But if you be willing, on the side of God, is able and is willing to reverse every negative thing in your life. But you have to be willing 
the divine human willingness are to be joined together on the side of God willing to save. You must be willing to be saved on the side of God is willing to redeem. But you must have the willingness that he will redeem you. And tonight, as you are willing, he will redeem you. He will save your life. All the sins you ever committed in your life, the Lord will forgive. And the Lord will make your life to shine again. I'm talking to somebody there. You will shine, you will shine, you will shine again. Only that you are willing. It says, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. There's much good in this land. There's much good in your land where you are here. And all the other people will not eat everything, and then you go penniless, you go hungry, you go thirsty, you go like you know, a slave and a kind of poor, poor, poor person here on earth. Goodness is waiting for you. Grace is waiting for you. Because if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. The Lord will save you. The Lord will heal you. The Lord will bring you up from the dungeon where you are. He lifts you up in Jesus' name. To say yes, I'm willing, yes, I'm willing. What am I to do? Proverbs chapter 23. We're reading there from verse 26. In Proverbs chapter 23, reading from verse 26, it says, My son, give me your heart. Already God has given us a son. It says now, look at what I've given you. My very heart my own son the most important in heaven on earth for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever 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 believeth in him will not perish that's me i said that's me i said that's me look at me very well that's me amen that's you and all you have to do my son give me thine heart and let thine eyes observe my ways as you come to the lord the lord will turn everything around for the better in your life in jesus name yes. when no. i said when Amen is done in your life in Jesus' name. We're coming to number three here. Look at number three. We're looking at the decreed wonders and signs of sure performance. There's performance tonight. Performance of healing tonight. Performance of wonder signs tonight. Performance of the goodness of God tonight in your life. In my life. Miracles tonight in your life. Deliverance tonight in your life. The goodness of heaven tonight in your life in Jesus' name. And we're coming to this, and this is the decreed wonders and signs of sure performance. We're looking at Job chapter 22, and I'm reading from verse 21. Job. Chapter 22, verse 21, it says, Acquaint now thyself with him. That is where God become acquainted with God. We have been acquainted with people. We have been acquainted, even some people are so acquainted with Satan. They know his name, they know his nature, they run his errands for him. They're so, they're so acquainted with evil. But it says now, today, being the day of his power and the day of his performance, acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Peace has come. Yeah. Turbulence in the heart is going right now. Confusion in the heart, depression in your life, 
depression is going away tonight in Jesus' name. Acquaint yourself with him and be at peace thereby. Good shall come unto thee. Good shall come unto me. Grace shall come unto me. God in his goodness shall come unto me. Evil will leave you. Sin will leave you. Sickness will leave you. Goodness shall come unto thee. Look at verse 22. In verse 22, it says, Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth. Everything is telling us in his word. He says, Receive that. It's for your good. It's for your transformation. It's for the grace of God to enter into your life. So you receive. He says, I pray thee. I plead with you. I'm begging of you. Receive the law, the word from his mouth and lay up his word in thine heart. The word in your heart that God is able, lay that in your heart. That God is willing, lay that in your heart. That God is powerful, lay that in your heart. That God is gracious, lay that in your heart. That God will do what only he can do. Lay that in your heart. And it says, as you do that, look at him, verse 23. It says, if iniquity be in thine heart. It says, if you return to the Almighty. If you return to the Almighty. I will return. I will return. You know, all the people that are with the Almighty, the Almighty power of the Lord will be walking in their lives. And we've gone so far that we all have seen and come short of the glory of God. But now I return. The prodigal son, the prodigal daughter, that the backslider, the one who was saved, and he knew the joy of salvation, and he knew the ability of God to keep us above the stormy waters of sinfulness in life, but they have gone back. It says now, we return. Tonight, you return. And if thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. The Lord will build your life again. He'll build your family again. He'll build your business again. Every good thing that you have lost, he'll bring it up and build it up in your life again in Jesus' name. And then it says, you put iniquity far away from thy tabernacle. You understand that? Iniquity, that's transgression. Transgression, that's sin. Sin, that's disobedience. Disobedience, that's lawlessness. It says we put all those things, iniquity, far away. How far? So far. You cannot grab it again. How far? So far, like the depth of the sea. How far? As far as you want God to remove your sin away from you. And the east is far from the west, and the west is far from the east. So you put the sin away. I don't want to see it again. Put it away. I don't want to touch it again. Put it far away. You don't want any to do anything with it anymore. It says you put sin, iniquity, transgression, evil doing, put that far away from thy tabernacle. Look at verse 24. In verse 24, it says, Then shall that lay up gold as dust. You will be prospered again. You will be rich again. It will satisfy your hunger. It will satisfy your thirst. It will supply all the needs of your life. You will not remain a beggar. I will not be a beggar. 
you will have enough to eat and to spare and to give other people. You become a dignified person because it will so provide for you. Look at the next verse in verse 25. It says, Yea, yes, truly, surely, certainly. That's what it means when it says, Yea, it means yes, it means truly, it means surely, it means certainly. It is certain in your life you are going to be saved tonight. Yeah. It is certain in your life you are going to be delivered tonight. Yea, the Almighty shall be thy defense. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. The Almighty will defend you. Yeah. Anybody as powerful as the Almighty anywhere here? No. No matter how powerful they are, no matter how high they are, the Almighty is higher than the highest. And the highest will be your defense. And then it says, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. And some people say no. <laughs> you will have. You will have. I will have, she will have, he will have. Look at all those children of Israel in the wilderness. They had enough water. Even though all they saw was a rock. But in that rock, dry rock, the rod, the cross, will smite that rock. You have enough to, to drink, enough to eat. And enough to live by in Jesus' name. In verse 26, it tells us, it says, For then thou shalt have that delight in the Almighty, and shall lift up thy face unto God. Then in verse 27, in verse 27, thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee. He will answer you. He will answer me. Everyone asking for forgiveness will have forgiveness. Everyone asking for salvation will have salvation. Everyone asking for healing will have healing. Everyone having for, uh, asking for deliverance will have deliverance. I will have what I ask tonight. I will receive what he gives tonight. Uh, look at verse 28. In verse 28, thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. Decree. Thou shalt decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee. Amen. You know, in Daniel chapter 6, reading from verse 8, look at what they said about a decree. The decree of the Medes and the Persians. It says, now, O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed. It says, according to the law of the Medes and the Persians, which cannot change, which altereth not. The law of the Medes and the Persians becomes decree. And once it is given out, it cannot be changed. That's what they reminded the king of when Daniel was thrown into the den of uh, was to be thrown to the den of the lion. And the king was trying so that it will not be done. Then they came to him. In verse 15, they said, King, remember that the decree of the Medes and the Persians cannot be altered. Why am I telling you that? There is a higher decree. I said there's a higher decree. 
the decree not of the Medes of the Messiah. The decree not of the Persians but of the Prince. The decree of the Messiah and the Prince cannot be altered. The decree of Jesus in your life. I died for you. You're supposed to be saved, to be forgiven. I bought the stripes for you. And by stripes, we are healed. That's the decree of the Messiah and the Prince. And now, the decree of the minister and the preacher. I decree upon your life that tonight you are saved. I decree, the decree, you know, Mary's patients, they have their own decree. And they say their decree, although it's an evil decree to throw a man into the lion's den, they say that decree cannot be altered. But thank God for a better decree for you. The decree of the Messiah and the Prince of Peace will not be changed in your life. Amen. And the decree of the minister and the preacher here tonight, when that decree comes to you that you are saved, it cannot be changed. Amen. You are healed, it cannot be changed. Amen. It is coming right now. Amen. Upon your life. Amen. Upon my life. A decree for salvation, a decree for healing, a decree for deliverance, a decree for the new life. Thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established for you. For me, where is he? It's done tonight. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed. And I his close. This day is the day of his power. He has the will to save. You have the willingness to surrender. And then there are the decreed wonders and signs for everyone because there's a sure performance here tonight. It's about eyes closed. Remember, if you're willing, you'll have. What the Lord has provided even now, peace of mind, joy of salvation, and forgiveness from all sins, all the past will be forgotten. A new life will start for you tonight. You want that change, you want that transformation, you want that forgiveness, you want that redemption, you want that salvation, wherever you are, Raise up that hand. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. Raise up that hand. Don't wait. Don't delay. Because the Lord wants you to have the forgiveness right now. He's done everything for you to be forgiven, for you to be saved. Just, just raise up the hand. God bless you there. God bless you there. Thank you. God bless you there. And then you're raising up your hand. Please stand up. And say, yes, I'm here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Forgiveness has come. I say forgiveness has come. The joy of salvation has come. The grace of God that brings salvation now is appearing to you, is coming to you. Raise up your hand and stand up. In uh, wherever you are online, wherever you are, any nation of the world, any congregation in any country, that salvation is yours today. That forgiveness is yours today. And once it is done, it's able to save to the uttermost. For the rest of your life, you'll keep on enjoying this forgiveness, freedom, redemption, and salvation. Keep on standing up. We are praying together. Now remember, the decree of the Messiah and the Prince of Peace cannot be altered, cannot be reversed. And the decree of the minister and the preacher cannot be reversed in your life. It has come. It will stay. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for this day, the day of your power, the day of your pardon and the day of performance. Lord, I pray, forgive everyone asking for forgiveness in Jesus' name. Yeah. 
save everyone that needs salvation and they are asking now in Jesus name blot out their sin forgive every evil thing they ever did let there be no remembrance of any of those bad things anymore against their lives in Jesus name salvation for everyone restoration for the backslider peace of mind to everyone that receives christ as the prince of peace in their lives right now lord we believe it is done we believe uh, your people are saved we believe that the forgiveness is real and definite right now the grace to go out and live a better life life in the Lord grant unto them in Jesus name thank you Lord say thank you Lord it is done say it is done in Jesus name we pray another amen a special enogo amen God bless you. Keep on standing. Uh, members of the choir, ushers, counselor, they'll be there to help us now and get the names down. Please don't sit down until our counselors, members of the choir, ushers, and the people who have been prepared to uh, get all this done. Until they get to you and you do everything, please do sit down. We're calling on our state overseer to help us get through all this. And then we come back. Your healing, deliverance is decreed tonight. That's that. Amen. The evening going down. Those who gave their life to Christ, please keep standing. All cancerous, please get to them and give them the card. Feel their name properly. And not only that, after that, you give them the Converse package that contains the letter from the GS as well as the book. Please, let every counselor, can please, get to the people. And if they have not gotten to you, please indicate. Counselors, please, everywhere get to them now write their names properly and if you can feel you can be able to write take the card from them feel it properly and then give it back to them your name your address your telephone number make sure it's complete Make sure everything is correctly done. And those who are online, you gave your life to Christ online, you see in your device the link. Click on it and fill the form and submit from, you know, just submit it online. Those who have not been attended to, cancer us, please locate them where they are. And once you are true with them, then give them the Converse package. After that, they have their seat. You get by the card and make sure everything is correctly filled. And let's remember that the crusade continues tonight is all the foundation we continue tomorrow 5 p.m here at opera square and also the ministers conference ministers professionals business executive conference is going to be at event center with all christian workers of all denominations at Amadio Event Center near the Eba Nocturnal. Be there tomorrow by 8 a.m. 8 a.m. The 
impact comes up on Saturday 26 here at Obara Square, Impact Academy for Youth from glory to glory by 8 a.m. Those who have not been reached, you gave your life to Christ, and counselors have not come to you, please indicate. Counselors, look at those who are standing, and I turn to them. To my left, I see a young man over there standing. Please get to them quickly. Fill the form properly, and then receive it from them and give them the converse package that will help them to grow in their Christian faith. The book there, read, study it. It will help your faith to increase. If cancerous have not come to you, please indicate. Please get to them. Nobody should be left out. And the people at the cover stand, let's ensure that they are attended to. The people at the language section, let's ensure that they are attended to. Very quickly, cancel us. And after counseling, don't return to your seats. Remain with the people. Because tonight is going to be miracle everywhere. Cancel us, please. Let me check up. To my left, over there, if you are true, cancel us. Supervisors, if you are true, can you wave your hands or the flag? It's okay. Please, when you are true, where you are canceling, join the others where we see our people to attend to. Let's be fast. Please write legibly, possibly with capital letter, and let the address be clearly written so that we'll be able to get to them after this time. And once you are through, submit the cards to the supervisors. And supervisors, make sure you take the card to where it's going to be sorted out. Are we true towards the left-hand side? If we are true, can I see? Are we true at the middle? Please, if you are true, let me see. At the middle? Supervisors, please, if you are true, indicate by the wave of the flag or your hand. Over here, okay, you are true over here. Please get to the back, join the others at the back and make sure that everyone is captured. At the language section, have they all been attended to? And if you are true, please be praying calling upon God that tonight I will not go without a miracle. Those in the front, I, can, I think you are true, but at the far back, are we true over there? Please let somebody indicate to me. Okay, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. I think we are ready now for miracle prayer. Shall we rise on our feet as the servant of the Lord comes up to pray for us? Amen. 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 I am ready for my miracle. My miracle is decreed from heaven. My healing, my deliverance decreed from heaven. 
it cannot be altered. You raise up your hand for your healing, for your miracle. You lay your hand on the, other, on the place where you have the challenge. Right now you know that there's a sure performance in your life. I said there's a sure performance in your life. It's coming. When you hear that final amen check up, it's done. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, thank you, Lord Jesus, because at Calvary, you paid for each all. By your stripes, we are healed. And those stripes declare the decree for healing, for deliverance, and for freedom. And Lord, I pray everyone now, to my right, to my left, at the center, everywhere here and online, give them the needed miracle of healing, of deliverance, in Jesus' name. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, miracle healing, miracle deliverance. Lord, let there be a sure performance in every life right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Insanity, madness, I command, come out in Jesus' name. Yeah. Blind eyes, dimness of sight, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hearing problem, dumbness, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Any kind of swelling in your body, your leg, your tummy, in your neck, anywhere at the back, I command swelling, come out in Jesus' name. Yeah. Cancer, you are healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. HIV, AIDS, you are healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Lord, I pray the ulcer be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Lord, whatever problem they have in the blood system, heal them now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hypertension, diabetes, sugar problem, you are healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Sterility, barrenness, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Every pain in your body, clear out right now in Jesus' name. Yeah. Problem in the heart, problem in any internal part of your body, you are healed in Jesus' name. Arthritis, pain in the joints, paralysis, you are healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for everyone to the right, to the left, to the center, to the back. Let your healing power come to every life now. Set them totally free and give them their needed miracle. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. It is done. I have my miracle. I have my healing. See done, and as you see, then you come out, you have a testimony already. Amen. Amen. You have a testimony, check yourself. Check yourself. If you are lame, rise up now from your wheelchair and begin to walk. If you are blind, open your eyes. You will see, stay where you are, check yourself. And if you know the Lord has done it for you, come out. Just keep coming out as you discover. Cancerous help them. Check yourself. Check yourself. The Lord has touched you. Check yourself and come out this way. Come out, come out to the front. Come. And let's see what God has done for you. Whatever the problem, blindness, ulcer, cancer, swelling, they are gone. Check yourself. This is not the time to move about. This is the time to check yourself 
and prove what God has done. If you are here on crutches, drop your crutches and begin to walk. Check them. Check yourself. Come to my left. Come forward. We are waiting for you. Come forward. Come to the left here. The pains are gone. Keep coming. God bless you. Come forward here. Come to the left. Or region overseers. And our overseer, please go and interview them. Come forward. Discover what God has done. If you are blind, open your eyes now. If you are lame, rise up and start walking. God bless you. See them coming out. See them coming out. Please attend to them. Come out. Come out. God have answered. Wonderful. Check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. The miracle is done. If you are which here, come out. Keep coming. Come to my left. Come to my left. Come to my left. The Lord have answered you. Come to my left. Check yourself. And discover what God have done. And if you discover your miracle, come out. If you are weak here, rise up. The power has been released. The prayer has been made. Rise on your feet. Check up the swollen. That swollen is gone. Swollen on the neck. Wherever you have your problem, check up. God have done it. Come out to my left. Come out to my left. Bring them out. See what God has done. Tonight is a night of wonders. Keep coming, keep coming. At the back, anywhere you are, come out. Come to the left. Please, overseer, let's interview those who have come out and let's have their testimony. God have touched you. You know you are here. Check yourself. The ulcer is gone. The asthma is gone. The diabetes are gone. Come out this way. God bless you. Come out. Come out to the front. Come out to my left. Direct them. Come out to my left. Check yourself. And see what God have done. And... The Lord that have touched you, and the miracle shall be permanent. Rise and walk. Open your eyes and see. Come out. Our leaders, please, let's check up. Let's hear from the orchestra. While you are checking up, as you discover your miracle, drop your walking stick. Come out. The Lord have done it today.
go online why the alpha location testing money have been get ready please let's go online wonderful something has happened over there something has happened over there something has happened over there bring them out bring them out bring them out bring them out while we go online keep celebrating check yourself your miracle is there there is no doubt that miracles abound everywhere as we are experiencing God's power in this day at the Alpha location also online we have miracles God has done in the life of people as we bring you this testimony from the online community CLM YouTube, Oluwa Pelumi Busui says he is thanking God for healing him from severe anemia and body pain that he has suffered for the past two months and also for the restoration of his soul. Praise God. Also from the YouTube space, Beauty Secrets want to thank God for healing her of pain on her right ribs. The Lord is indeed working wonderful miracles praise the lord all the way from dlbc facebook page daniel writes i've been bedwetting since birth but god has healed me today praise god henry gesser from youtube writes i have been healed of back pain this evening through the prayer of pastor dr wf kumui praise the lord also from DCLM YouTube, Comfort Ochoko says, The Lord has done it for me. The Lord healed me of eye problem, tearing eyes with pain and wrist pain. Praise the Lord. Boma Aguamba writes from YouTube, Praise God. The lump on my wrist just below my left palm disappeared after the prayer of the man of God. Praise the Lord. Amazing miracles. All the way from DCLM YouTube, Callistus Mobo writes, The Lord healed me from gastroparesis and gastritis during the man of God's ministration. My pain and setback has disappeared. Thank you, Jesus. Indeed, God is doing great things as not just only in Africa, but also outside Africa. As we take you to New, um, New York for a testimony broadcasting Live. From Stipa Life Bible Church, starting her land. I'm here to glorify the name of the Lord by the grace of God. I'm sick. I want to give God the glory for what He has done for me. Uh, by the grace of God, I mean, uh, I started my, my, the journey of my nursing 2014. I didn't pass on to 2022. Uh, behold, that was eight years, and um, even after I passed, that was not when I know that there is a trouble. They refused to, uh, they re they refused to give me issue my license. And when I I called them, they said there is nothing they can do because the school is under review. But to the glory of God, I started praying. And uh, when it's exactly one year, I. I remember I called my mom, uh, my mother. I said, Mommy, it's home, it's already a year, and my license is not released to me. And Mommy told me that. Mommy immediately called me back. And my father prayed for me. After the prayer, I believe God, I trust God. My father said, Very soon, very, very soon, that your license will be released. And within Within a month, God started to open the door. I mean, the door started to open. And by the grace of God, even the new Jesse, that I, you, you, you know, they said, okay, they will issue my license for me. The New York refused to issue the license. But with a miracle, God did it. Wonderful. That you know, New Jersey agreed to give me a license. And we started, I believe in God. I said, God, 
your servant, my father has prayed for me, and I believe in it. And to the glory of God, the Lord Almighty God surprised me in making way, and the license was issued by New Jersey. Um, I'm here to give all the glory, to return all the glory unto the name of the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. If you are here and you are believing God for something, hold on to God and believe God and believe his prophet. He will surely make a way. He's a God of possibility. Praise the living Jesus. Indeed, he is a God of possibility. I will bring you another testimony all the way from Edo State Broadcasting Live. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Neko Wenaze. I am from Bini East Region, Edo, Edo South State. I want to testify what the Lord has done in the life of my daughter here. Her name is Mary. She's six years old. It all happened when I wanted to get married. I know that my genotype is AS. So when my husband came, I told him my genotype that he had to go for tests so that I would not marry the person that had the same AS that I have. So he went for tests. The results came out AA. We got married. So after I had four children, Mary here is the fifth one. I gave birth to her in 2018. After some time, she fell sick to death. So a series of tests were conducted. There was blood in her urine. So they were doing all the tests. They, told, they called me one day and said, Madam, your daughter is anemic. The, her genotype is ASS. So I was wondering why, how I can get AS. Why my own genotype, according to the test I went for, is AS and my husband is AA. So my husband went to the lawyer and said he wants to make trouble with the hospital. So we later decided that we need not to go to the court. It's better for us to take it to God in prayers. So we have been praying. Oh, since that time, there have been series of uh, problems, blood infusion, sickle cell has been disturbing this girl. No money, all the money we gather every month. Sometimes we infuse blood, sickle cell, drugs we've been given. So we have been praying. One day she asked me, Mom, you have been giving me drugs every day, every morning and night. You don't give others. I told her that there is a problem in your blood. That she always cry to God for him to change it. If you don't cry and pray to God, he will not change it. I will be taking medicine every time. It is not what doctor can change. She said, okay. Each time we pray, she always say, Father, please change my blood. So that's how my family have been suffering. We have been crying, spending money, buying sickle cell drugs. DGCK crusade. We cry. What we eat in our house is cry every day because she's always anemic. So that GCK June, we are, we are going for that thing from the first day it started. The last day of the GCK, we went. Pastor prayed. We all came back. We didn't even have anything in mind. So after the Tuesday that the GCK ended, on a Friday, she was having slight fever. So I always take her for tests at the end of every month to check her PCV so that the blood will not go down like that. So each time he has fever, the blood must go down. If we don't take time, we will infuse blood. So I went for tests after that GCK on Friday. They said I should come and collect it on Saturday. When I went there Saturday evening, so the result was not ready. They have not written it. So they hurriedly went inside their lab and wrote results for me. So the results showed AA. I was very angry. I said, this was what they did that put me into this problem of sickle cell today. So I went home. They were asking me to send the result. I didn't send it because I didn't want to mock myself by sending results to people. And at the end of the day, it's still sickle cell. So this was the result. I went for March. This one is sickle cell. When she was sickle cell, the result, as you can see, is SS. So the second one I went, this one shows AA, which was the one that I was not happy. I said, these people want to put me into trouble. So I went to another hospital. You can see the name of this lab. I went to another lab. They conducted the same sex, and the thing was AA. So my mind told me that it's like Jesus has answered my daughter's prayer. So we have gone for tests, another place. We've been going for tests since that GCK June till today. I've not been giving her sick larvae, which is for sickle cell, all the sickle cell routine drugs, no blood infusion, no loss of blood. I want to thank the Lord who has done this for us. I want to thank God Almighty who did it in the life of this girl. I want to say, may his name be praised in Jesus' name. Thank you. 
Jesus, thank you. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Emmanuel Ekarigame Omo Yeni from Benin East Region, Edo South State. I'm here to testify of what God has done for me. Brethren, my life is a testimony. On the, it all started on the 25th of February during the GCK, that Sunday. I was there at about to 7, I discovered that I was having waist pain from my waist to the right leg. I couldn't walk. I managed to skate through it. I laid my hands on it. I prayed. But when I drove the car that night to the house, I couldn't enter the house. I have to use my hands and leg to walk to that house, to walk in that morning, that uh, night. Brethren, I could no longer move. I was using my hands and crawling in my house. But thanks be to God for the God that answers prayer. We overcome it. I was connecting through YouTube. Every time we lay hands on it, brethren were praying. Though we still visit hospital, but not. God intervened. Do you know what happened? In August, my leg was swollen. The right leg, like a balloon. Pastor looked at me and said, you need to go to the hospital again. I went to the hospital. They went sent me for a scan. They discovered that some veins collapsed, according to them, in the leg. And that to replace it, we need to quickly take it. But today, brethren, it was something they, they called for the uh, cardiologist. And he did all he could do. They gave me his compressor stockings. I did all. I was wearing it. But brethren, I thank God. For how he took control. And we're always connecting with GCK. I was no longer going anywhere. Suddenly, my feet became like this. Something shoot out of my leg. I can't walk. I can't do anything. In this October, we put our hands on it. We lay our hands on that leg. We went to the hospital. They invited the... Uh, doctor of the of the skin, he came and what did he say? He said, after all the tests, they said it's cancer. That nothing can be done than to cut part of my flesh and use it to cover it. To God be the glory. What they said cannot be done. The surgeon operated it and look at it. At the end of it, time will fail me to show you. Today I was in the hospital, nothing. Again, I told them, Look at my leg today. Look at it. I can walk. I can move. Nothing again. Praise the Lord! God is still in the business of doing incredible things. And check up yourself wherever you are. Your healing and your miracle is there. We'll return to the moderating pastor. Thank you. Put your hands together for Jesus. Look at incredible miracles that God performed. We'll just take few from the Alpha location. Please, from the Alpha location, let's... It's okay because of our time and the rain. We rise on our feet to worship the Lord for what he has done. Let's worship the Lord. Stand on your feet. Remember tomorrow morning at Amadio Event Center for the Ministers, Professionals, Business Executive Conference, as well as all Christian workers. Be there at 8 o'clock. Raise your voice. Raise your hand. Say, Lord, we praise you. We thank you for what you have done all over the world. All over the globe, many testimonies we receive. Cancer healed. 
Many things, even genotype, changed. Is a power of God. As the man of God prayed, and I'm telling you, tomorrow shall be greater than tonight. Raise your hand and worship the Lord. Praise him for what he has done for us. Thank him for our Father in the Lord. Thank him for grace and anointing. Praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we honor you. We praise your name for great things you did for us today. Oh, Lord, thank you for the message that we received and the power demonstrated. Glory be to your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit our Father in the Lord into your hand. Father, strengthen him more. Energize him, Lord. And Lord, all the things you did today, let them be permanent in the name of Jesus. All over the world, I pray that all that they received will be permanent. Nobody will lose their own in the name of Jesus. As your children will go, as we prepare for tomorrow, Lord, renew our strength. And renew the strength of your servant. Oh Lord, fresh anointing, fresh grace, power, bestow upon him in Jesus' name. The same for our mother in the Lord. Greater power, strength, give to her in Jesus' name. Strengthen us all. Tomorrow is a great day. Lord, as we go and come back tomorrow, more people will join. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Good night. Remember, tomorrow, 5 p.m., everyone will be here. Invite your neighbors that were not able to come today. And tomorrow morning at Amadio Event Center, remember the minister's conference. Be there. All our leaders, our workers, please come here. I want to see you before you go. Thank you.